Hi everyone. I'm really excited about this. I've been hinting about this for a long time, but it's finally time I introduce you to my Jeep. This is a 1951 CJ3A. It's not all original and I'll take you around to uh, get a tour of it, but I wanted to give you a little history on this little bad boy first. This Jeep originally belonged to my great grandpa. He bought it here in town and I'll need to refresh my memory on the exact details of all that. I'll have to ask my dad. But then my dad inherited it from him and then I inherited it from, from my dad. And right now this is um, stored at my dad's place. And we've actually been working on this since springtime, but I haven't been filming it because it was frigid cold at the time, and a lot of the work we were doing was not overly exciting. Um, and we just wanted to kind of get it running before we even I did any more future videos about it. So like I said, it's a 1951 CJ3A. When I was in high school, we actually swapped out engines on it because my great grandpa had prepared a second engine. He had got it from somewhere and I'll show you. The original engine had a cracked block, but what we found out when we swapped out the engine is that the engine that he had got to replace it is actually from a CJ2A. And the reason why I can tell is because the motor mounts are in a different location. So this is the L134 engine, the inline four with the Carter carburetor. The only other things we've really done to it, um, in high school we put replaced the brakes, all the brake system, we reupholstered the seats, and what else did we do? We converted it to a 12 volt system from a six volt. My then fiance, and I spent a lot of time sanding down the body, doing a whole bunch of body work, and primed it in preparation for our wedding. And as you can see, it still has the same primer on it. It's starting to rust through now, so we have some more body work to do on it. But believe it or not, we never got around to finishing it. Got married almost 20 years ago. Drove off from our wedding in this. And it probably is my most valuable possession. I just love this thing. There's so much history in it, family. Boys love it. We're gonna start doing projects on it together. What we had to do to get it running, because it had actually sat in my dad's shed for probably 10 or 15 years not having been run. And when we were working on it, we ended up having a bad fuel pump the carburetor needed to be rebuilt and the lines were completely plugged. So I got a fuel pump rebuild kit that took care of the fuel pump. My dad rebuilt the carburetor and we actually had the old carburetor from the original engine too and he rebuilt that one too and this is kind of a mismatch of the two carburetors together. I ordered a rebuild kit for that because even after rebuilding it the accelerator pump wasn't working. And we're still having carburetor issues, so that's going to be one of the things we need to, to mess with. Could be a fuel issue because the gas tank was really rusty. That's what we worked on last weekend. We put in, uh, we took out the seats, took out the gas tank, um, tried to get as much of the rust out of the tank as we could, and then filled it up. I had got a new sending unit because that fuel gauge wasn't working. But today, there's a few odds and ends that I want to do. Um, one, the, the gasket for the fuel sending unit is leaking, so I'm going to put some RTV on that to hopefully stop that from leaking. I got a new gas cap, and just kind of bring you guys in here a little bit. Hopefully you can see all this. That's the gauges. Let's see how many miles we have on this thing. 56. 5,600. 
this rubber boot down here needs to be replaced. That's in really bad shape. Got a new one of those. And I got a rubber gasket for around the gas tank, but since the gas tank is full, that might not be the easiest thing to put on. So we'll see how that goes. So there we go. I'll just quick come around the back side here. So you guys can see what's going on. It's a Willie's. Now, originally it had a handmade topper That's that uh, I think my great-grandpa made for it. It was a wood thing. We did take that off, and I'll show you some pictures of that. It is four-wheel drive. And I'll show you this, too. This is something you don't see too often anymore, all the shifters. You're probably wondering what all these shifters do. So this shifter here is just in-out, and this is high-low. And then, of course, your regular shifter, it's a three-speed. Got collector's plates on it, so I can have to pay for licensing. So I think the carburetor issues now might be related to, I did put a new fuel filter in there, but it's possible that this fuel filter is already clogged. So that might be something we need to do. We'll uh, mess around with it a little bit. All right, let's get started with some of the chores for today. We're gonna have to start by getting this seat taken out so that we can access the sending unit. I think that'll be the first thing we fix. So I'll get you guys set up and we'll uh, start on that. So as you can see, it's leaking out of here. The other thing we need to do is the wires um, were a little bit kind of shorting funny. So I did bring some sandpaper and I'm going to sand all the terminals to make sure that all the connections are good. That's the other thing I'm going to do. Let's get this sending unit out of here. professional manner. It is a very professional because of all these washers. Well, that looks like something I would do. Yeah, it is something you did. Alright, things we got done today. Not much, but small things. Put the new gas cap on. Looks good, nice and tight. RTV'd up the sanding unit and I think that should be good to go. Sanded all the points. Hopefully the connection's better. And then we had these new rubber boots put on for the transfer case shifters and that looks nice. I think we decided we'll wait for next time that the tank is almost empty to put this grommet on so that we can adjust the tank. I'm going to also order some um, cushions basically, some anti-squeak cushions that go underneath the tank that will raise it up a little bit so it's more centered in this hole. So we'll wait on that. The other thing we'll do is we'll get a new fuel filter because uh, it's still not running great without the choke being on so we're gonna get a new fuel filter and then my dad is going to rebuild the carburetor yet again he's got a nice sonic cleaner so hopefully that'll fix that issue now it's just time to go for some more rides
Did great grandpa build that top? Yeah, no. training. All right, let's stop it here. So push the clutch in, hit the brake. Okay, now let's go in reverse. Um, I don't know where reverse is. It's the top. Okay, so Last. look at the diagram. Let's just go forward. Okay, I think we're in reverse. Thank you. We got a, we got a comedian over there. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you'd like to see more Jeep content. Talk to you later. Bye. Sounds really good. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs>